Now, of course, when you're buying all car, what you don't always get with them is any history. Now, I think I've mentioned previously, the indicators on this one aren't working at the minute. So in today's video, I'm gonna try and see what's wrong with the indicators. As you can see, there's a crack along there. I'll take this off. And that'll be why the indicator's not working. The state of that bulb. I don't know if you can see, I don't know how well you can see on camera, but there appears to be some kind of black tape. Can you see that on camera? It's definitely some form of tape. Somebody definitely wrapped tape around the bulb. See if that works then. Okay, so that's working. Not the brightest bulb in the box though, is it? Can't see that being very bright to be seen from the road. Let's put the lens on, find out. Well, it's working, but it could be brighter. Well, that front indicator's working. So with all the screws out, let's get that lens off. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. That'll be the reason why most of the bulbs aren't working. And uh, I've just noticed when I've taken the lens off, part of the lens has broken off at the top as well. Now, obviously these are 48 years old now. You can see on close up all the fractures and the cracks in the lens. So, first of all, then, let's see if we can reattach these two for now so I can find some replacement lenses. So, let's see if we can maybe use some of this multi purpose impact or contact adhesive. Oh, I'll be careful with it. Excuse the silence while I uh, try and get this applied. So I'll just put that there, leave that a couple of minutes to dry out a little bit. I'm just going to try and match those two together there there we go now obviously this isn't going to be a perfect repair but it should certainly be good enough to hold the lens together until i can get a well not so much a new one but a replacement one that's in better condition so i'm just going to leave that to dry out a little bit now while we're waiting for the glue to dry on the lens, I had a look in here at the codes or the words or the numbers and letters that are in there. Now that one seems to suggest that it's a 21 watt and a five watt bulb. So that one that's in there, that's actually a twin element bulb. So that'll be a brake and a tail light. That one there, if you can see it, that's a 21 watt. That looks like that's the reversing light. And obviously the 21 watt on the indicator light as well. And then the one down here on the bottom, that is, it's just a five watt. Now I did have a look around for some bulbs I've got in the house and I've got some spare bulbs like that ready to go in. But these are all 21 watt or twin filament, 21 watt and five watt. So I've nipped out and I've bought a pair of these or I bought a couple of packets of these just to use them. So they're the five watt ones. The bulb side of it, the glass part is a little bit smaller, but the bayonet is exactly the same. So hopefully they're the ones that should be and it should just be a case of bolting them all, well, pushing them all and clipping them all straight in. So, let's start with a bulb in the reversing light. Put that one in. And I'll try what will be the indicator. And get that one in there. If we take one of the ones out of the packet, one of these little ones, you can see how small they are. These are just five watts. Let's see if I can get that in there as well. Ah, 
place. Let's go and turn some lights on and see if they're working. Lights on and the indicator. Seems to be working in there. Oh, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Obviously, I can't check the reverse light at the minute because the car's not running. I haven't got it in gear. But the indicator's working, the top light's working, the bottom light's working. Wonder how good it'll look with the lens on. That looks better, doesn't it? That's a lot better. So that's all of those working. Now on this lens at the back, you'll see I've put that screw in as tight as I can because of the um, the glue having not probably completely totally set yet. It hasn't been sitting overnight. It's just been sitting for about 20 minutes. So got that bolt in. That screw in as tight as I can. There's not actually one there. And I've got one missing down there. So the only two, there was just two at the top. So what I've done, I've taken the one at the top and I've put it in the bottom, so it's held in two positions. Well, I'm guessing the rest will be the same, but we'll get on and have a look at the rest of them and see if they're the same. But that's so much better. That's looking so much better now. And that's the other side done. So now we've got indicators, we've got tail lights, we've got brake lights, we've got headlights. Still got no side lights, but I'll get into those next time round. For now though, thanks for watching. I'd recommend watching this video here next. And if you've enjoyed this one, don't forget to like, share. So consider subscribing to the channel where you'll see all manner of stuff going on. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.